Alright, listen up! When someone's casing your car, they'll need to learn your whereabouts. One way they do that, attach a magnetic GPS tracker to it. Then they'll find where your job is, where you live, what places you frequent, and which is the most convenient place to swipe your vehicle. Before getting in your car, walk around it and check underneath. You're looking for a small device that shouldn't be there. If you find one, don't remove it. Call the police, they'll deal with it. It's nighttime, you're in a dark and deserted parking lot. Just as you unlock the car and get in, you see it. A random piece of clothing lying on your windshield or wrapped around the wipers. It's a technique people use to take cars. They rely on your first reaction, get out of the vehicle and remove the garment. That's when someone comes out of nowhere. Always inspect your car before you get in. If you see anything suspicious, walk away and get help. Knock knock at the front door right in the middle of the day. Someone watching your home will ring the doorbell, pretending to be one of your utility providers. Uh Uh-huh. Their goal is to take a look inside and familiarize themselves with the house. They'll insist on coming in, and while they're there, they'll secretly be scanning for valuables. If it happens to you, close the door and call the company they're pretending to be. You need verification on this before you let anyone in. The hapless pregnant lady is one of the easiest tricks in the book. It can happen at a mall, a parking lot, even with a knock on your door. Someone with a baby-looking bump will show up, pretending to be unwell. This act relies on your immediate reaction and sympathy to help a vulnerable person. In the meantime, she and her accomplice will grab your wallet, car keys, or phone without you realizing it. Always bring the person some water, keep your distance, and call an ambulance. People casing your home use a communication system to help their partners understand what kind of house you're living in. Scan around to see discrete light markings on the door, entrance, or gates of your home. Five circles mean you live in a nice house with lots of valuables. An X over a circle means there's nothing worth taking here. Hey, maybe you should put that one up yourself and save everybody some time. Other signs show whether the occupant is vulnerable, the house was broken into before, or if there are security devices on the property. The next trick goes something like this. Just as you're backing up, you hear a loud thud. You get out and someone's on the ground, clearly upset. They'll say you broke their expensive phone or watch, or that you injured them. They'll tell you they need compensation, or they'll call the police. If this happens, you be the one making the call. Don't give them any money. If you're suspicious, tell them not to worry because you can show the authorities your dash cam footage, even if you don't have it. If they're truly hurt, they'll wait. If they're faking it, they'll magically be healed and scram as soon as they hear dash cam. Or you're back at the parking lot and just as you get in the car, you notice 100 bucks on your windshield. Don't get too excited. It's just a new ruse to take your vehicle. They rely on your immediate action to get out of your car and get the bill. You might assume someone scratched your vehicle and left cash on your windshield as compensation. You get out, the bad guys jump you, take your car with your valuables inside, and drive off. Mm, Not good. Instead, scan your car first and then get in. To check how secure your ride is, some criminals will bump against it multiple times. If this happens near your home, check what's going on outside the window. Some people will keep at it for days to make you believe your alarm is too sensitive or faulty. Then you'll switch it off because you're tired of the noise. That's a green light for criminals. Without a buzzing alarm, it'll be easier to take. Someone might spot your shiny new car on the street and follow you. You won't notice them until you reach a traffic light in a pretty deserted area. That's when they'll hit your car from the rear. Your immediate reaction is to jump out of the vehicle and inspect the damage. But that's when the accomplice jumps into your car with your keys in the ignition and drives off with all your belongings, ID, and papers. If someone fender bends you at a traffic light, call for help, switch your engine off, and remove your keys. A friendly person will approach you to give you a free bracelet for good luck, usually in busy touristy spots. Once you have the bracelet on your wrist, the once friendly individual will cause a scene and ask for money. They'll scream that they sold you the bracelet and you're refusing to pay. 
Then, fake police, who are in on the trick, will tell you to pay them or else you'll have to face legal consequences. The seller will also refuse to take the bracelet back and will continue to follow you. Allow no one to give you shady stuff for free, and if somebody approaches you, just walk away. As you're walking on a public road, someone might bump into you and spill their drink on your clothes. Then they'll apologetically try to wipe off the liquid. But while doing so, they'll slide their hands in your pocket and take whatever they can without you noticing. A common trick bad guys use in crowded places. If this happens to you, don't let anyone touch you. Whether you're driving to or from work, scan your car and check the passenger side doors. People trying to take your vehicle will put pennies in the door handle. It'll let you unlock your car, but when you go to lock it later, the coin will keep the latch from securing, and this makes their efforts easier. They won't have to follow you to work, they'll just wait for you to come back. You'll get out of your car, assume you've locked it, and they'll take it from there. Smile! The hook in a bathroom stall could have recording cameras hidden inside. A few the police have found were painted black, had double hooks, and were positioned in shady places in the stall. Before walking into the toilet, um, more specifically the toilet stall, scan the walls for some of these suspicious hooks. Your phone's camera can come in handy for this. Hidden cameras can also be in hotel rooms or rented apartments. Many people found them in bathroom vents, others inside air fresheners or wall decorations. Right when you enter a hotel room, switch off the lights and scan the area with a flashlight. Check and investigate the reflections you see. Light will always bounce off a camera lens. If you find something, don't call the reception. Get out of the room and call the police. Airports aren't the safest place to leave your car. Some people go around airport lots and look for vehicles they'd like to take. Then they apply cloning devices on them to duplicate the contactless key at the airport and they go away. Sometime later, they use trackers they placed on the cars and take them from the owner's home. When you're at the airport, park in well-lit areas with cameras and scrutinize your car for any trackers. You come back to your car to see a huge scratch. Then a note on your windshield with someone's contact details to sort out the damage. When you get in touch with them, they'll tell you they'll pay for it, provided you go to their mechanic. The repair person, who's in on the scheme, will make a copy of your keys, place a tracker inside your vehicle, and they'll get it when it's convenient. Never take your car anywhere near where the perp recommends. Always take it to someone you trust. The other person is the one who scratched it, and they should be paying for it anyway. Yeah!